2025 approaches, I want to make sure you know that you're getting rid of that negative attitude and that you have the wisdom, the knowledge, and you're not too old to have insecurities. And in this video, I've got four more tips. The fifth one being the most important with your insecurities. And by far, the fifth one is the best one that we're going to go through so that you know how to get out of the funk that you're in for 2024 and start 2025 fresh with a new light, a new hope, and a refound faith to carry along in your journey. You're not alone. I have a personal story. I have a personal insecurity that I'm going through with that I'll tell you about in a few minutes, and that's gonna maybe help you. My little step will maybe help you get into your funk and help you through the things that you're going through so that we can get you on that right path. I promise you, if you're over 40, you still have plenty of life left plenty of wisdom to share, and plenty of knowledge to pass around to people, including myself, that I would love to hear from. I, I will love to hear what you have. But tip number two, I already told you tip number one. Tip number two is focus on growth, not perfection. You don't have to be perfect every single time you go do something. Start with, start learning how to grow. Grow small, and then over time, those growth will grow and the small things will become the big things and no matter how and small the item is you can succeed from that persevere and come and build knowledge to work on it so that when you get to the bigger things they will be a little bit easier than they were cheers morning coffee step number three lean on community don't be insecure insecure will make you be isolated and we don't want to say we don't want you to be isolated. I want you to be able to get out there, be with the community, be with faith, friends, family, whoever it is. Maybe you're at the grocery store and you're walking down the aisle and you pick up your favorite salad dressing and the person next to you, you, you walk by and you say, oh, hi. And then before you know it, you're having a 10 or 15 minute conversation and realizing that they're going through the same things that you're going through. Or if you didn't say anything to them, you'd still be isolated. The fact of the matter is there's other people out there going through the same thing that you're going through and they're going to lean on whoever. A total stranger can help you. You can help them. And together, that few minute conversation could change the whole, the whole picture. When you get up in the morning and you get dressed and you make your bed and you brush your teeth, make your bed, make your bed. That small little thing. You can share to that person in the grocery store, hey, you know what? I normally don't make my bed. I usually just go home and get back in the bed I didn't make. I made my bed this morning, and when I got to the grocery store, I felt relief. I felt my day is going to be successful because I made that one little accomplishment this morning, and that one little accomplishment is going to lead into the next accomplishment. And like I said, slow growth is going to win the race, and you're going to have all these small wins, and it's going to take you right up to where you need, right where you need to be. Your worth is going to be astronomical in 2025 as it brings you as we as we bring into 2025 the community that you're going to build through me and through this channel and the people that will be supportive to you on this channel is going to help you if you've liked this video so far hit that like button it's going to help push this video out so that others in your position are going to see it and you're going to know that you're doing the right thing so smash that like button and know that you have a community here for you. Step number four, all of this is gonna build the confidence that you need to grow to away from your insecurities. The confidence, it's gonna come slow, but so does faith. Faith and confidence can build you up, make you stronger. It's gonna, it's gonna take you to a whole new level of things that you didn't know were possible. And I'm telling you right now, they are so possible. I also want you to do this. At the end of each day, I want you to get a journal out and I want you to write down one thing that you did that you made progress so that you can tell somebody in the comments, write in the comments that what the one thing that you did the day you saw this video to turn you around, write it in the comments. And you know what? I'm gonna be proud of you for doing that. I'm gonna be proud of you for sharing that because that takes will, that takes heart, that takes guts. And if you share that with me, I'm gonna hold it purposefully and if we need to share that with others, then by all means, that's what we're going to do. At the end of the day, I want you to know that I'm proud of you. Here's my insecurity. 
I script videos. I'll show you this in just a second. I script videos, but I have a problem looking at the at that and looking at you. I want to focus on you. I don't want to focus looking back there. I don't have a teleprompter yet, but I'm working on getting one. So what I do when I do these videos, I have a big old poster board and I write down on the poster board what I'm going to write. So it's all written down right here. And so then I have to post it somewhere so that in the while I'm talking to you guys, I can stick it somewhere and be able to see it, but also be able to look at the video and make sure that I have a personal connection to the person that's watching this video. So for me, my insecurity is I need to figure out how to get my scripts easier for me to read so that I can read them while I'm talking to you and having that one-on-one -on -one connection that you're looking for and that I want to give to you. And I need it too, because whoever this reaches, it could reach the right person and you could have some tips and tricks for me, for my insecurities. Remember, you're not defined by your insecurities. You're defined by your perseverance and your faith and willingness to move on and to be strong because that's what we need you to be. As 2025 approaches, we're going to get rid of those insecurities and we're going to take over and have faith, community, friendship, and everything that comes with it. It's here for you. It's here for me. The best tip that I can give to you, be vulnerable. If you're uncomfortable, you're not learning. That's the same thing as being vulnerable. Put yourself out there. Every single Friday is Flip Flop Friday. I'm gonna try to push this. Every Friday is Flip Flop Friday. I'm gonna ask you to put on your flip flops, walk outside the house, and sometime in your day, take your flip flops off, walk a couple steps barefoot on that ground, and God is going to clean, cleanse your soul through the soles of your feet right up to your heart. God's going to do that. You're going to be vulnerable doing that. Be vulnerable with your insecurities because they're going to take it. They're going to take that far and you're going to learn from it. I promise you that. Again, the fact of the matter is that you matter. Your insecurities don't define you. Your perseverance does. Your faith does. And how you're going to come out ahead on this too. Find freedom to turn things around. You're going to have it. You're going to get that freedom. And there's people here to help you, including myself including myself. I'm here to help you. I want to see you succeed in 2025. I want to see you gain that security back and be able to pass it around a couple months into 2025. Pass it around. You got this. You're never alone. I'm always going to be here with you. I'm always going to be here for you. And if you've liked this all the way through to the end, check out my other, my new video. It's about my channel, Corby's Creations and what I'm all about. Watch that video. It's only like three or four minutes long. And don't forget, I'm here for you if you ever need anything. Just leave it in the comments. I love you. As 2025 approaches, I want to make sure you know that you're getting rid of that negative attitude and that you have the wisdom, the knowledge, and you're not too old to have insecurities.